Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2, playing as Colombia. Currently, I'm in war with Brazil. Not doing too well, but we're going to keep going and see what, what can come of it. Hey, look, Ecuador has nobody protecting them. Fascinating. I suppose if we got out of this war with Brazil, maybe we can go after them. Of course, we need our infamy to get down pretty low. You know, overall, I mean, it's an interesting game. I, I definitely think this game is nowhere near as good as the, the ones they've made recently. You know, obviously like uh, like any of the ones that have been made since this game came out. You know, CK2 or, or you know, EU4, or even obviously Hearts of Iron or Stellaris. Any of those games are way better than this game. There's just some mechanics in this game that are just not good, in a sense. Um, this whole... Infamy blocker is a little ridiculous in a way. Um, yeah, I mean, other games have a mechanic like that, which such, such as the um, um, what am I trying to say? The not the, not the overextension thing. That's what is it called? The uh, well, I'm mind blanking the one in E4, but um, but it's so much easier to stay under that cap. You know, you're like, okay, I could still go to war with people. I just gotta you know limit what I take. You know, no big deal. Um, Whereas this game, it's like you just you just can't go to work. You're done. You're stuck. Um, and then this whole mechanic with and again, I know I get it. It's the this is the the era of great powers and spheres of influence and things like that. So it logically makes sense as far as from a timeline, from a historical timeline. But the whole great power thing and the sphere and all that stuff is just a bit much. It basically makes these you know the little guys virtually impossible to overcome. You know, starting off small kind of thing. Which the other games don't prevent that. You could start off as a single province, anything, in either CK2 or EU4. Um, and and ultimately, if you play it well enough, you know, it's very, very hard. But you could work your way up to being able to, you know, take over the world. Uh, even Stellaris, obviously, everybody starts off small in Stellaris. So that one's maybe a different different one altogether. I haven't played enough EU4 to know if how small you could start and, like, do something. But you could at least hold your own a little bit. So I feel like this game is definitely... Not as well made. I mean, I mean, that's a bad way to put it. It's not. It is very well made. It's just some of the uh, the uh, the way the mechanics work. It maybe it's just not as fun. Let's put it that way. That's probably the better way to put it. The fun factor is not there because I enjoy taking these small nations and doing something with them. And obviously, if you, it's possible to take Colombia and do something with it, it's just way way harder than most of those other games. There's just too many things that restrict your ability to do anything. Even this colonization thing. And I suppose I could play without the uh, the most recent expansion because the expansion before that, I could have been able to colonize. But uh, the recent one, which is the uh, Heart of Darkness one, adds that restriction on colonization where you just can't do anything if you're not in the top 16. So it's, it's, a, it's a game of the weak get weaker and the strong get stronger. And there's just not much you can do about it, unfortunately. Oh, well. I suppose I could just kind of pretend that this game doesn't exist in, in, in my little History of Paradox series and just, you know, skip over it and be like, all right, we'll play as, you know, I wonder if Columbia in uh, Hearts of Iron, you know, can play better. I know they they have a little bit of a tough time because America, I think, gets some early, like, options to go after, you know, some of the South American countries. But um, I wonder if they have a better time there than they do in this game. Okay, so Mexico did give them that land, which we expected. Now we're down to 48th on, you know, power and stuff. So, you know, it really, really dinged us pretty hard. What will probably happen is, unless I can come up with a, a strategy that I feel will get us kind of back on the scene, we may not play this game all the way to the end. I just, I don't want to make this another just 20 episodes of boringness, which I was hoping, you know, the early game was a little exciting at least, but... I'm worried that some of this later game is going to end up being really boring again because we're basically stuck going on speed five and not able to do, literally not able to do anything at all. I can make it really exciting and go for conquest and just say, eh, forget the infamy. <laughs> Who cares? Um, it's kind of tempting. We just don't have enough trips to do anything. 
You know what? Why not? Let's do it. Let's just go for it. I can make you a puppet for way less and get that soon, but... 1006, it's going to take us that long. I mean, I could wait for it to die down. You know, whatever. Let's let's wait for a little bit. We'll wait for a little bit. See, kind of see what, what comes, what happens. Everybody else is still protected, correct? Yep, yep, and... Yep. Unfortunately, if I wait too long, then they're going to eventually be protected by somebody. Brazil would have been an interesting one to start as, because they can at least start colonizing early on. And presumably, they could very easily work, make them make their way up to being a great power status. 0 0.06, 0 0.83, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.100, 0.101, 0.102, 0.103, 0.104, 0.105, 0.106, 0.107, 0.108
<laughs> it's not much. They're still getting taxed pretty heavily. But what's she going to do? Um, do we lower the tariffs at all? A little bit seems like it's okay. All right, we are actually. Um, oh, beer halls. Um, poor strategy against militancy, which we really don't want, but we also don't want to lower the efficiency. I guess we'll stop it for now. All right, uh, we're at least maxed out with Spain. Maybe we can ally them. We'll see. We're still making some money. I mean, that's good, I guess. First, Farmer's Bank. You can nationalize the bank, which gives us a little bit of money, but some militancy. I guess we'll go with consciousness for now. Um, can, yeah, we do actually railroad over here. You know, let's do it. Let's keep expanding the railroad where we can. Kind of overall help our productivity and stuff. Current crisis is a temperature of two. Okay. Spain does have some land over here, right? Uh, Netherlands, France, United Kingdom. I think they're up here, maybe. Yeah, they're there. So they have they have some stuff over here. So it's possible if we ally with them that they'll, you know, be close enough to come to our aid a little bit. They will not accept it. How, how badly is it? Still really badly. I mean, our relations are really helping, but just the overall just strength and stuff like that is just not, not helping us. Oh, well. At least we made them a little happier with us. Anybody else we could go after that would be relevant? Not really. I mean, I know these guys won't accept, but because it was just, just negative relations. I wonder if it increased relations with them. That'll help. I don't know. We'll see. Let's start increasing relations with USA. Okay. On the side of the USA. Oh, there's a crisis brewing. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess we could join as well on one side or the other, but I know that would really help us that much. Northwest Territories, huh? All right, we'll start working on the United States. Let's see what we can get from them. Although England may be more inclined to help us out, to be honest. So how bad, uh, let's see what we're looking for, England. I mean, they technically like us a little bit. You know what, why not? Let's go for England. Let's see if what they what we, they would do for us. We're down to 15 now. Still not dropping. Quite quick enough for my, for my taste, but that's all right. Accept the crisis offer. Acquire the colony. Okay. Interesting. Russian North America. Look, where's the Northwest? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, there's the Northwest Territories. Interesting. And it was up there somewhere. Obviously, it's somewhere in the Northwest. Hmm. 
Railroad's not getting built yet, unfortunately. Well, we got some clergymen coming in, which is good. Only 1% of our total population at the moment, though. Let me guess another one with... Yep, yeah, Central... Oh, Central America's con Conquest. Okay. Uh, but it's also with America. Yeah, yeah, okay. I figured as much. Figured as much. I want Yucatan, huh? I don't know that we can actually do anything. Uh, how many troops do you have? Uh, so what I wanted... Go to there. You have five brigades. Wow, aren't you doing well for yourself, even though we've got some of your land. you got such a small amount of land, but you're doing quite well for yourself. We'll head that direction, but I don't know that we're going to be able to do much. I mean, I guess we had five brigades at one point, but still. I mean, since America's in on it, I don't think Mexico's going to be long for the world. We'll sort of pretend it help, I guess, a little bit. Oh, I thought he was going to win that one. It looks like he is actually going to end up losing it. Very barely, but yeah. Wow. Should have had that one, buddy. Should have had that one. Yeah, Kingdom. Uh, all aristocrats in our Costa Rica lose population against militancy. Oof. Guess we'll crush the revolters because I actually don't think there's that many aristocrats. And there's less aristocrats now, I guess. Uh, they incite the peasantry, huh? Well, we'll keep doing the same thing. Cause again, I don't think there's that many of them. Population. Costa Rica, aristocrats. Uh, that's 2%. There's a tiny amount. You're just going to ignore him entirely, I guess, in Mexico. Interesting strategy. There's America right there getting their Yucatan thing anyway, though. Let's see, you got 16 plus R5, 21. Yeah, it's still not enough to take him on. Well, we could jump on USCA over here. Don't think Mexico's. Uh, not really going to work out for you, buddy. Sorry about that. We tried. Hey, we took some land. Yay us. Only 10% literate at the moment. Election's starting again. I feel like they're coming pretty fast, but maybe time's just flying faster than it seems. Not quite 2%, though. We're getting there. I guess the American guys are up there somewhere. There they are. Yeah, Mexico just doesn't ha have enough troops at the moment. Um, let's see, our options are either to conduct a crackdown on organized Central American groups in the province or bide our time and hope that the situation resolves itself. We can bide our time, they gain some consciousness, or I don't really want to lower population. I guess we'll give them some consciousness. Most of our voters are pro-military. 
anti-military is high enough that I don't really want more militancy. So we'll go there. Poor Colombia, getting so small. Oh, we actually have enough to do another improve with the United Kingdom. Actually, I think I will check to see. I mean, I don't think we're anywhere near close, but I'll check it here in a second. Just to see if like our relations went up. Yeah, if our relations went up, it still wouldn't be enough. So. Uh, I don't know. We may still keep improving with them, just just to say, but it does not seem like it's going to do much. Uh, we'll keep enforcing the Colombian curricula, I suppose. Get those free research points. Um, Laissez faire is actually the lowest, so if that one gains some militant militancy, it would not hurt us that much. Oh, there goes our guys. Womp. We're done. Stack. Well, I actually wasn't paying attention to those guys coming down there. Did not realize Mexico had already kind of been vaporized. Got a decent amount of money at the moment. I mean, relative to kind of our general economy, I suppose. Obviously, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much money. But it's enough that we could make a factory if we had, you know, the ability to. Uh, coming out on us now. Are they adding anything to theirs? Chihuahua. Okay, nope, they're not adding anything yet. I'm not, I'm kind of surprised if they're not adding to get their stuff back. Well, there's some education efficiency. Good stuff. We'll do idealism just because it's going to help us, you know, get more research as well. All right, Mexico, you should just kind of give up at this point, buddy. Oh, they want like a lot of stuff. They want a ton of war score. Or, or I guess what they want is going to cost a ton of war score, it looks like. I don't have enough stuff to talk to them yet. Propose peace. All right, there we go. Um... Uh, there's nothing we can offer. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's because we're... Yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay, fair enough. We'll just see it out. Yeah, America's just going to take all of... <laughs> all of Mexico at this point. As well as all of our land. Right, we're actually over 2% there. Let's go ahead and shift over to the other one as well. Kind of spread the love a little bit. Still go for 2% total in our nation, but kind of spread it out in each province just a little bit. Do they peace out? Wait a minute. Did they, did they lose some of this or something? Because they didn't lose any of that, did they? No. What was the piece deal? Oh, Choir Chihuahua. Okay. I guess they gave up some of their stuff. Okay, fair enough. Alrighty then. Well, then I guess we're at peace again.
there. Have some of that stuff. Resist to credit or Brazil's Great Britain has decredited USA, which lessens their hold on Brazil, apparently. Interesting. Oh, there we go. Let's go back to uh, Great Britain. I really don't know that this is making any difference, but we're going to keep going at it. I don't think we'll get an alliance, but maybe they'll spheres or something will protect us a little bit. All right. Well, we're over our time a little bit. We're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I'll have to think about whether or not we're going to continue this. I was hoping this would be turned out better than the Haiti one, but it is just not. It's not turning out better than the Haiti one. We, we were trying to be aggressive and it just, just kind of, you know, some of these protected buys are just really kind of stopping us too much. So I don't know. We may still just, just as a last year raw, go after one of these guys anyway, but I don't think it's going to make enough of a difference. We'll see. I do appreciate you watching and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.